Minnesota Chamber of Commerce recently started a what's the coolest thing made in Minnesota campaign. It was a list of companies and products made right here in Minnesota. And one of those that advanced all the way to the sweet 16 round was the Sven saw. That's a product that we featured on paddle and portage earlier this year. It's been around and used in the boundary waters. In fact, the idea for it came from the boundary waters, canoe area wilderness on a portage trail. Uh, joining us now is one of the co-owners of Svensaw, Linnea swenson Telixson. Linnea, good to talk with you again. It's good to be with you, Joe. Good to talk with you. I guess be yeah. with you virtually. <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely, yes. And so this Minnesota Chamber of Commerce, coolest things made in Minnesota competition, it's still ongoing. Uh, they're down to like the Elite Eight to use the NCAA March Madness sort of jargon or lingo is that you though Sven saw made it to the sweet 16 which is no small feat a, a fine accomplishment and congratulations on that uh so let's just talk about how this came to be how how Sven saw found itself in this position as being considered one of the coolest things made in minnesota uh how did you get into this competition well, we got into the competition thanks to a friend alerting me to it. Um, somebody who's I've known for decades and she's used the Svensaw and she had heard on the news that this competition was happening and that I sh we should enter the Svensaw. And I thought, she's right. And oh, and the deadline was that day. <laughs> so <laughs> I pulled from things we've already written about the Svensaw and um, the application required some pictures and logo and we had all that so i got it in on time and waited and was kind of surprised to learn that we were selected kind of surprised and not surprised because i think that the fact that it has been around for so long and so many people know it we've we've heard from some people over the years that they think it's pretty cool <laughs> right right yeah, yeah for sure and so your dad Dick invented the Svensaw uh, on this portage trail near Knife Lake back in the day because he saw someone who had been injured with a hatchet and he was like, this is no good. There's got to be a better way to process firewood out here in the Boundary Waters than than just that, you know, swinging an axe, basically. And so he invents this foldable, collapsible Svensaw. Uh, as I said, we did a story about it earlier this year. I'll drop a link in here so people can can find that story really easily on Paddle and Portage. When you and your dad were up here in Grand Marais, uh, over the winter you guys came up and we connected for that story. So the, all the background about Svensaw and its origins and even what Svensaw is, we'll have in the article. Because the competition is sort of the news of the day and you made it to this sweet 16 round. I mean, we're talking about like only 15 other products were included in this list that you're on as that's far right. as the coolest things made in Minnesota. That's a, that's a huge accomplishment. I'm sure. I mean, just to put that out there for you. Thank you. And it was ironic because our it was like you say, it's like the um, basketball, the college basketball tournaments. There were 64 to begin with. And they, in the emails that we got before the contest started, they assured us in every single one that it was quite an honor to be chosen at all, that they had had some overwhelming response with the applications. So that felt great. And then we advanced through the first one and the second one. and um kind of surprisingly both of them had many many more employees and, and may, maybe not a bigger reach but our last one in the sweet sweet 16 was american crystal sugar so kind right, of like sugar <laughs> the sweet 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and a funny story is that i have a good friend in india and we were talking last week and she said crystal sugar we have that on our shelves here yeah right exactly i mean it's kind of like going up against 3m or who is also in the competition you know, but those you know huge that, things. good point because that also in the sweet 16 and also who did not advance is medtronic so we're feeling okay we're feeling pretty good <laughs> right and spam and these other sort of minnesota like iconic companies to, just to even be up in in the ranks of them in the sweet 16 i'm sure was felt pretty good for you and as you mentioned in the post your dad is now 93 
Richard Dick Swenson, who started the company, and he is, you know, here to witness all this. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been really fun. We've got, he lives in a um, senior living, independent living place, but get some help. And um, the friends here were voting and people, I think it was one of those things where we let people know, I let, I let people know by my emails and texts, and then we know that they let people know. My nephew said, well, there's kind of a cult following out there of Svensa. <laughs> so yeah. I think that the, the cult followers heard about it one way or another and kept us in there as long as we were. So yeah, we're cool. really, really grateful. And a lot of, a lot of you, of, um, I think there's been a, just a whole lot of confirmation that people have found this to be a really great tool. Um, and useful and cool <laughs> over all these years. That it was a lot of confirmation of that. And did you notice an uptick in traffic to your website or social media or both, you know, even sales like that sort of thing throughout this this process of the the coolest product made? It's hard to tell exactly because so I would say maybe an uptick on our own website sales um and uh, and with our a lot a lot of our sales are through distributors who sell them to stores all over the country and rei all over the country we certainly let those people know and they um many of them if they weren't going to let customers know, they certainly confirmed that they were going to vote themselves. So I don't know. It's, I wish I could say definitively that we had an uptick or something, but I think what it did do is remind people that we're here. I think one of the things that happens when you're a product in a company that's been around for over 60 years is the new and the new latest greatest, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm captures people's attentions. But um, I think we still, of the folding, packable bow saws, the Sven saw still has a lot of features that outweigh anybody else. So it's kind of nice to remind people, hey, we're still here. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the relevancy aspect of the notoriety that comes with being in a competition like this is um, in and of itself, I'm sure, a, a, a big support for the company. I'm sure. Yes, I think so. And I think it's one of those things, too, uh, we'll always be able to say, like you said, like you just said, we're we're one of the 16 coolest things made in Minnesota. This is the first time the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce did this. So the inaugural competition. <laughs> Right. Yeah, cool. Well, again, uh, that you mentioned REI. I mean, there's a connection to the REI that uh, your dad made in Seattle at the World's Fair, you know, when the company was just getting started. And all that background about Svensaw is in this article uh, that we have on Pal Imported Show. Again, that link will be shared with this post. And uh, really appreciate talking with you, Linnea, about this competition. Congratulations. It was fun to follow it through and see you get to the Sweet 16. And uh, a, a big accomplishment, and one I hope you're really proud of. And, and uh, good to talk with you and look forward to seeing you in person next time we cross paths. Thank you so much, Joe. It was wonderful being with you.